Here's a popular problem going around Facebook asking us to count the number of squares in the picture. And to make sure we don't leave any out, we're going to go about this in a logical way. First, counting all the 1 by 1 squares, then all the 2 by 2 squares. Then we'll count how many 3 by 3 squares there are. And the biggest square you can find in the picture is a 4 by 4 square. And then after we determine how many of each of these there are, we will add them up to get the total answer to the problem. So let's start by counting the 1 by 1 squares. So starting in the lower left, there's one right there. And then next to it, we have a second one. And next to it, we have a third one. And to save time, you'll notice that across the bottom of the figure, there are a total of six of these one by one squares. And I can then put six more on top of those. And since it goes to a height of four, six more on top of those, and so on. So there are six times four, or a total of 24 one by one squares in the picture. So let's go on to the 2 by 2 squares now. And here in the lower left is one 2 by 2 square. Right next to it, by moving one to the left, we get a second 2 by 2 square. Moving one more to the left, we get a third 2 by 2 square. There's a fourth one and a fifth one. Now I'm going to move one square up and there's a sixth. And now one square to the left and there's a seventh. One more square to the left and there's an eighth. And just like we were able to put five along the bottom row we can fit five across the center like this. And then we can put another five on top of these five. So here would be our 11th two by two square. Move one to the left and there is a 12th. Move, I said one to the left, I'm sorry, I should have said one to the right there is a 13th, a 14th, and a 15th. So all together, counting the 2 by 2 squares, we get 15 of them. Now let's count the 3 by 3 squares. So again, starting in the bottom left hand corner, there is one three by three square. If we move one to the left, there is a second three by three square. Move, I said left again, didn't I? Move one more to the right, there's another three by three square. And one more to the right, and there is another three by three square. Now, if we take the three by three square on the left and move it up one unit, we get that one. And then if we move that one to the right, there is another three by three square. And if we move that one, one to the right, there is another one. And finally, we get that three by three square. So the original four across the bottom, four across the top for a total of eight three by three squares. So finally, let's count the four by four squares. And here would be one four by four square. If we move that one to the right, we would get a second four by four square. And if we move that one to the right, we would get our final four by four square. So altogether a total of three four by four squares. We add them up 
24 plus 15 is 39, 39 plus 8 is 47, 47 plus 3 is 50, which is the answer to the problem.